It is definitely one of those old houses in Missoula that catches your eye and it makes you wonder who lives there. When was this house built and what exactly does it look like inside? Well, we got the answers to those questions and in the process learned even more about a major mansion in Missoula. It's been here about as long as Montana's been a state and she has weathered the years beautifully. The Raymond House on Raymond Avenue in Missoula's historic Rattlesnake District was built around 1896. It still has original stained glass and the woodwork with a curved staircase and a library and wonderful detail. And it's for sale for about $2 million. I think this could be a variety of different family situations just because there's so much space. So you could definitely do multi-generational situation. There's a guest house that you could have someone live in. Um, and then there's just lots of room. Five bedrooms, six bathrooms, a wine cellar, a mother-in-law apartment, and more, all on three beautifully groomed city lots. Recent upgrades carefully match the modern with the mature to seamlessly merge the centuries. There is no doubt people lived and loved in this grand house that captures the imagination of those who wander by. It's brought a lot of interest from people in and out of state that are just very curious about it. We've had a couple of, you know, wedding planners reach out asking if there was any way they could come here. We've had photographers reach out asking if they could do kids shots here, you know. So it's a home that I think is kind of iconic for Missoula, just in its uniqueness. But I wanted to know more about the history of this house. The real estate literature and an old newspaper article I found mentioned it was a mail order home. Now back in the day, Sears owned that market, but they didn't start offering catalog homes until 1908. This house was already built, so I had to start digging and find out if this house really was a catalog home, and if so, where did it come from? After a trip to the Missoula County Records Department, where I got a list of the house's owners for the past 120 years, I googled old Victorian homes of the late 1800s. And after pages and pages of images comparing this house to the other pictures, I finally found this Queen Anne home in Oregon. They call it the Drain Castle. Look closely, that's the same architecture as the Raymond House. So the plot thickens here. Using that photo, we discovered the Drain Castle was designed by George Franklin Barber, an American architect who marketed his designs through a series of mail order catalogs. He's considered one of the most successful domestic architects of the late Victorian period in the United States. We even found one of his catalogs online called the Cottage Souvenir No. 2. Scrolling through the house plans, we found design number 37. And there it was, the Raymond House. And there's more. A list of barber designed homes included the Brooks Hotel in Corvallis, also using plan number 37. So after all that research, what does it all mean? Well, it really is a catalog home and it's part of its history. And that could be a story for the next family that calls this historic house their home. There's also a barber designed home in Townsend using a different architectural plan. Now the Raymond Avenue home looks a lot bigger right now because there have been additions over the years, but the main house remains unchanged. Sometimes people would call it the Penny Packer Mansion in Missoula. And Barber himself had encouraged people to ask for customizations to the plans because he'd like to make sure that what he designed for them was perfect. And we will have a link to that a little bit later once we get that up online for you to take a closer look.